Hello there everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends, and if you guys didn't already know, it is episode 200 already. Like, it wasn't too long ago that it was episode 100, but now it's 200. So yeah, that is pretty exciting. And some of you have forced me to do this thing that I am not often a fan of, so be told. But... First off today, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to hatch our piggy bank and slam dunk dragons actually. Because I have been waiting on these guys for a little bit and last time I was worried that I was going to get the calavera, but I actually got the slam dunk. So let us open him up and my monitor is that way for me, which is probably why you'll see me looking that way. But here he is in his little vest. And there we go, we've opened him up and we've got a thing towards the event. Even when the Vikings have home court advantage, the Slam Dunk Dragon never gives anything less than 110% in battle. So that is pretty rad. Like, I thought I was going to miss out on the Slam Dunk again, but I guess I proved myself wrong. And then second of all, we have this guy that we unlocked yesterday with his nice pink sort of egg and the little coin coming out the top there. That's kind of weird. But, there we go, and we have our piggy bank dragon. This guy is actually super duper ugly as a baby, like I am not gonna lie. Look at that. Look at that thing. That is icky. So icky. This trainer gives all his spare coins to the piggy bank dragon for safekeeping, but it's keeping them a little too safe since it refuses to give them back. That's like most piggy banks or like the special tin ones, you know, that like... You can put all your cash into them, but you can't actually take any of it out until you break the thing, and then it's like, what's the point, you know? But look at this little guy bobbing. Look at him bobbing. Go bobbing. I should call him bobbing. And, yeah, that is an event thing there, but let us feed both of these dragons up to be adults. Look at this guy. He is so swag. And he has, like, little suns on his eyelids. I don't know what's going on there, but... There we go. There is our piggy bank dragon. And where the heck did I put my slam dunk? There he is. Cliff. Cliff the slam dunk wearing his little boxing shorts there. And his his run for the food isn't quite as energetic. But what can you do? Come on, what, do you want it? Come get it. There you go. And there we go, he is now a big papa dragon. I loved his little boxer shorts. Like, I love animals in clothing. They look so rad. But, yeah, there we go. There's two new dragons for our collection. And many more left to go. And so we can take this egg out of the breeding den. That is the nightmare, not a dragon we're after. So let us try and breed for... That, that is not the abyss either, but we are still waiting on our firestorm dragon egg in the hatchery right here. So another 10 hours to go, so I'll have another video lined up in 10 hours, I guess. And I also need to make the cherry blossom dragon video that I plan on doing straight after this. But you can see that the cherry blossom is the new dragon of the week. We got the cherry blossom dragon during one of the old events, like ages ago. But the combo to breed it is actually the Boiling and Rainbow Dragons, and there's a 4% chance to breed the Cherry Blossom, so good luck. Best of luck to you guys. That is all I have to say, really. But where is our Cherry Blossom, actually? Here it is. Look at Loro. Little Loro over here. She's so cute. But that is probably pretty much all of the new stuff that is going on at the moment apart from the lunar dragon event we also are... we also already have the lunar dragon so we don't really have to worry about not getting him in the event even though apparently we're position 39 but i'm not sure how good of a judge that is we are still on tier 8 because these final tiers are going to take forever but we're only 385 gems away from the end of this tier and then we've got tier 9 and 10 to go and then we will get our hands on this lovely lovely unicorn 
So yeah, that is pretty much the gist of things. Well, I also said that I was going to go through some Ask FM questions because I said in one of the other episodes that I was going to go through any questions that you guys had for me, really. So we might as well just go through them right now. So the first one that's on here, hey Quackalex, Busboy here, I have some questions for you. Have you heard of the YouTubers Dan and Phil? If so, do you like them? Not my kind of YouTubers, but yeah, I have heard of them. Two, this isn't really a question, but I recommend you try Dragon Story. The thing about Dragon Story is I played that game, what, four years ago? But I used to play it on my dad's phone. But I obviously don't have his phone anymore, so all of my save date is gone. So I wouldn't really want to start all over again, because that would suck. And three, do you think Americans have weird accents? I think Americans stereotypically do, and like... I more so think of like the country folk of America with like all their slang more than anything else to be honest. Then if you could dress a guy up in girls clothes what would you make him wear? And this is actually pretty funny because I've already done this with one of my ex-boyfriends like how many years ago now? Quite a few. But I made him put on fluorescent green booty shorts with a bright pink singlet. And I made him walk around, do a few laps for me, and that was brilliant. It, and he was like the skinniest, lankiest guy you will ever see in your life. The shorts were way too big for him. It was astronomical. Then Martina said, what's your job at the moment? You always say you have to go to work, so I wonder what kind of work you do. Basically, I work with foreign money, so if someone wants to go to like France or Spain, then they come to me to go and buy their currency. That kind of rhymed, I love it. What is your favourite name? I think I've talked about this before, but the name Ronaldo. I don't know, it just always comes to mind. Favourite real animal? Well, I do have a parakeet downstairs, and I'll probably put some pictures up of him actually, but he, li he likes to get in his bath quite often, and he is so cute. But I do love lizards as well. What's your least favourite subject at school and why? Anything that required any thinking. So all of it. Well, what is the country you visited that you enjoyed the most slash would want to go back to? Japan. Just simply Japan. I've already been there. I went to the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. And that was... My dream, pretty much, as a little kid, I always wanted to go to the Pokemon Center, and I did. But I would love to go back again with my boyfriend, or just anyone, really, my, by myself. I don't care, I'll go back any day. Which do you prefer, Dragomania Legends or Pokemon? Probably Pokemon, easily. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon for 17 years or so. And Dragomania Legends, it's not the kind of game that I can play constantly for hours and hours and hours and hours on end, unless there's an event going on, in which case I just want to get the dragon. But Pokemon is kind of a series that I've grown with, so I have to say that, really. Um... Hello Quackalex, I wish to be your friend, not on Dragomania Legends, because I have iOS and don't have Facebook. I don't like it when people annoy me, and I'm sorry that everyone else annoys you. Do, what, do I seem like everyone in the world annoys me? If I do, I'm very sorry. <laughs> like, I, I don't plan it like that. I don't plan to sound like I hate everyone. It's just certain things that people do, some people that comment. You, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It just doesn't seem like there's a lot going on in this region, if you know what I mean. And then, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yep, I have two brothers and a sister. They are like 15 years older than me, and technically they are half-siblings since we don't share the same dad. So there you go. Would you rather have a pet Chatot from Pokemon or a pet Reptar, so Comet Dragon from DML? And I would choose the Chatot because I already have a parrot and he is usually quite lonely so I will give him a friend. Pokemon Sun or Moon? 
I would have to say that because of the sweet looking lion thing, I'd have to go with sun. Most important in a date, intelligent or funny? And I have to say, I would rather pick an intelligent person over just a straight out funny guy because if he was just funny but an idiot, I'd just be laughing at him rather than with him and that would probably be bad for the relationship. But I guess it depends, really. It depends on the guy. Um, what other ones do we have? Favourite Pokemon, this kind of links into the other one, but it is definitely Chatot. Uh, Chatot or Dialga or Rayquaza, honestly. Any of those three, I love them. Are you excited for Christmas? Honestly, I don't like Christmas that much because I don't really like receiving gifts that often. Like, the occasional just out of the blue gift. I'm, I'm okay with that, but I don't like... The one being on the receiving end of Christmas gifts, I would rather give them to other people, so I'm not really a fan, really. What was the first game you ever played? I don't remember because I was like eight months old, but it was either Pokemon Red or Mario Kart 64. So yeah, I'm Nintendo all the way. Um, I have a bucket list on here, but that is way too long for me to read out, like... I have way too much written there. I'm not reading all that out. Uh, do, 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 just looking through this stuff. Why do you love dragons? Well, I dragons are cute. What, what else do you want me to say? Like, dragons are just really cute and stuff. And they look like lizards. And I've said I like lizards. Um. Okay, so we have one for... Paul here. Hi Emily, first congrats on the 9,000 plus subs. Thank you my friend. And the impending 200th. I subbed at video 94, I think seems an age ago. It definitely does now. Uh, my question is, what or who got you into gaming? Well, my dad did because like I said, I was pretty much like a few months old when I was playing games. Mario Kart 64, I'd just hold down the accelerate button and then that was it. That's the only thing I could do and then I'd just make the Yoshi sound over and over again every time I smashed into the wall. So yeah. Uh, I think I have some more questions on here. There's just, there's just one comment here where it's just a bunch of spam like I don't I mean, are you trying to say that you're crazy? You're trying to say I'm crazy? I, I don't know. But what kind of person were you at primary school? Basically, since my whole primary school life, pretty much, I was moving to different countries, different schools. Like, I moved from England to India to Australia. I pretty much never really had a stable primary school time. So I was kind of quiet because I didn't know anyone in most of the years. But apart from that, I just sort of did my work really quickly and then didn't do anything but sleep for half an hour. So yeah. And then finally, I'm a guy that wants to dress up slash be dressed up. I have worn the underwear but nothing else. Also, are heels as tough to wear as I hear? I wouldn't say heels are tough to wear. The problem is, my legs are really weak to begin with, so if I wear heels for too long, or because my feet are pushed up so high, that's what kills you. It's like the incline. Like, imagine having your foot like that for six hours straight while you're going out, and imagine a point, and that's all that you can step on, and then if you don't step on that, then you just fall over. It's not really tough after you've got experience, but like the first time you put on heels, you will probably fall down a lot. A lot. Ah, but that is pretty much where I'm going to be ending the questions for today. It's already t like 10 minutes of Ask FM, which is a lot already. But I'm sorry if I didn't answer any of the questions on the video, but... I have read them all and I have responded to all of them, so if you want to look at my full answers then you can always go on to my Ask FM. But I think people are trying to get in touch with me actually. 
But that is pretty much where I'm going to be ending it today. So like I said, we do have our Firestorm Dragon coming next time. So that's pretty exciting. But at the same time, thank you so much for being here for so many episodes. Obviously, I don't expect many of you to have been here since episode one. But... Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for hitting 9,000 subs. I'm sure we'll hit 10,000 soon. And who knows, 200,000, a million. No, I'm just, I'm joking. But thank you guys so much. And it is getting very dark in here, as you could probably tell from the video. But like I said, thank you guys so much. And good luck with all your breeding. Good luck with the cherry blossom. Good luck with the dragon of the month. But until next time... I will see you guys then.